It's always, oh, you must just have so many other hoes that you're paying attention to. I know you're entertaining so many different men. You just don't text me enough. You must not be that into me. Literally, I just worked a full day, had to come home, cook me and Zuri dinner, listen to about three tantrums already within the span of like an hour, have to give her a tub, put her to bed, that's going to take about another two hours if I'm lucky, and maybe have an hour of me time before I go to bed. And you think, I want to sit here and go back and forth, how was your day, how was your day, how's your day, what are you doing, what are you doing, how'd you sleep? Boy! Be so for real. Next time, ask me how you could alleviate some of the stress. Isn't it interesting how all of these supposed strong and independent women who don't need no man, who throw away the father of their own child, all of a sudden need men to come and save them, right? They need you to alleviate their stress. They need you to come and date them and provide for them and take care of them because they don't want to be doing it all on their own. I don't have any sympathy for these women guys who proclaim to be strong and independent. And then you see TikTok videos from these same women complaining that they are not receiving help from men. But what is going on, guys? It is Taylor the Fiend back again. And on today's episode, we are going to be having a little bit of a laugh here at single mothers who are looking for help from men. Okay, they need men to save them. Um, you know, a lot of these women, statistically speaking, are throwing away their husbands, they're throwing away the father of their, their child. But now they are saying, listen, it's rough out here on these streets, I need some help. So let's jump in. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and your comments. Guys, don't forget to go and check out Ministry of Masculinity. I'm going to leave his channel linked in the pinned comment or the description. Um, and uh, let's jump right into today's episode, starting with this woman right here. Hey friends, so quick little rant uh, this Saturday for all you single divorced moms out there that are entering the dating world again. Um, yeah, I feel your pain because the shit is hard out here in these streets. Divorced single mother. Guys, there are certain characteristics uh, that women have these days, for example, that kind of make them undateable. Okay, and on the to very top of that list are single mother and divorced. And what do so many of these women have as their characteristics? Single mother, divorced, and then we'll go further down the list, okay? We'll go, hey, has a TikTok account, is incredibly narcissistic, is annoying. You could basically make, I made a little bit of a joke a while ago on the community posts on this channel, guys, but you can make a bingo card with half of the things that these women say. Word to the wise, um, listen, my dad, he might not have taught me much, but he certainly taught me that a man keeps his word. So when I have some fool trying to occupy my time, making plans to occupy my time, and then at the last minute, oh, you know what, I forgot I had this prior thing, um, I'm going to call you after, and then the after is like, late at night, like, mm -mm, I'm not your jump off, okay? Yeah, see, this is the problem, okay, that modern women are having. Because modern women, even if they are divorced, even if they are single mothers, the difficulty comes from dating, not in getting the attention from men. This is why I always say it's worthless and it's very cringe when women try and flex that they have men in their DMs. It's like, of course you have men in your DMs. You, you could literally be divorced, a single mother, eat too much McDonald's, and you'll have dudes in your DMs, okay? This is nothing new to anybody. But getting attention from men is not the problem. All of these women have Instagram accounts, okay? We know how it works. The real problem comes from getting commitment from men. Okay, wow, this guy ghosted me. Wow, he won't take me out on a date. Wow, he's ignoring me now. And the problem is so many of these women have nothing to offer men. They think that they do, but here's a little bit of a plot twist for you. Men are not interested in taking care of another man's children. Men are not interested in, in dating people who are very annoying and masculine. And we're not interested in dating divorced women. Okay, despite the fact that men are supposed to accept everything because we're the man, um, there are certainly a lot of things that we don't like about modern day dating. 
but let's continue. And the after is like late at night, like, mm -mm, I'm not your jump off, okay? Uh, no, I require now some attention. Um, you better feed me. We better have some good chemistry, some good vibes, go play some pool or darts or dancing or shit, something, but mm -mm, that ain't where it is. So yeah, see, here's the trade that modern women want to make, okay? They are sick and tired of being Chad's plaything. And when I say tick and, sick and tired, guys, what I mean by that is they won't stop dating Chad, okay? The man who's highly attractive, um, the man who all of these women want, right? There's a very small percentage of these men on social media, on the dating apps, and they all chase him. They are sick of being used as his plaything. Now, that doesn't mean that they'll stop because they enjoy having bedroom fun with him. They get attention from this guy, okay? But they can't get dates out of him. So what they want is they want men to stop this, right? To stop only using them for fun, which by the way, only a small percentage of men are doing this because the rest of the men can't. They don't even get attention from even women like this. Um, and they want to be taken out on dates. Oh, why, why, do, why is it that we can only hang out at 9 p.m. on a Friday night? Why is it that you won't take me out somewhere? And the answer to that is because men don't want to take you out. Men have no reason to take you out. Oh, please just take me on a single coffee date. Please just take me to some little golfing thing or some event. And the dudes are like, no, you want something from me? I'm just going to go to some other girl who doesn't require anything of me. You've, you've, you have officially become too much effort. <laughs> you've become 1% effort. So I'm going to go to a different woman. That's what these guys do on these dating apps, right? And these are the men that women chase, which again is why I have no sympathy for them. Some good vibes, go play some pool or darts or dancing or shit, something, but mm -mm, that ain't where it is. So I don't know if anybody else can feel my pain, but I don't know what the fuck else to do in these streets. Um, yeah, that's why I'd be going to Costco and getting the um, mega pack of the batteries because you know, that's the relationships that I have nowadays. Yeah, so fantastic stuff. So just before we continue to the next clip, okay, just to recap here, single mother, divorced, frustrated that men are not going the, the first mile in dating, right? They'll have the fun, but then they won't do anything after that. Okay, now let's jump into this clip that we played into the intro. In, wait, did we play this one in the intro? I'm not quite sure. I think we did. All of these women guys, they kind of blur together for me. They all say the same nonsense, um, but we're going to be playing this woman who uh, is a little bit of a clown here. So she's in the same boat. I believe I did play her in the intro, but let's jump in. We'll take a listen and then we'll move to a woman that we haven't seen. Perhaps this one right here. Sorry for the jump scare. Let's jump in. It's always, oh, you must just have so many other hoes that you're paying attention to. I know you're entertaining so many different men. You just don't text me enough. You must not be that into me. Literally, I just worked a full day, had to come home, cook me and Zuri dinner, listen to about three tantrums already within the span of like an hour. I wonder if when modern women make these videos, they realize that nobody gives a damn. You know, they're, they're just so incredibly entitled and narcissistic that they think everybody cares about their work day and their children. Let me just say that again, okay? Their children. These are not my kids. These are not, you know, the majority of men's kids. So it's always very interested, uh, interesting, excuse me, when these women expect men to give a damn, right? They expect other people to actually care about their life problems. Like, no, if you, you know, these life problems that you're talking about, oh, it sucks doing this, it sucks doing that. Yeah, and these are the same women that throw out the men that would help them, right? Or they just choose guys who are not interested in helping them to begin with. It's crazy to me, man. It's like, step one is create your own problems. Step two, complain about them. And step three, never resolve them. Astounding work here from the modern woman on TikTok have to give her a tub put her to bed that's going to take about another two hours if i'm lucky and maybe have an hour of me time before i go to bed and you think i want to sit here and go back and forth how was your day how was your day how's your day what are you doing what are you doing how'd you sleep boy 
Be so for real. Next time, ask me how you could alleviate some of the stress. No. No, I don't think I will. Have you guys noticed that some of my videos have gone missing over here on YouTube? That is because I am slowly moving them over to locals where I can actually host them without the risk of getting in trouble. If you are not aware, many creators are starting to move over to places like locals, rumble, etc. Because YouTube is not really a free speech platform. So if you are interested in supporting the channel and getting access to videos that are no longer available here, make sure that you come and join us over on locals. The link will be in the video description down below. Supporters get access to their own exclusive videos that are no longer available to the public. So make sure you go to the link in the description and join us over there now. But anyway, guys, back to today's episode. Okay, so one point that I didn't make here in the intro, by the way, is this woman will sit here and like many other of these uh, entitled ladies, quote unquote, they will say that you know, oh, I don't have time to text you. I don't have time to put in all this effort. You know, I don't want to be asking how your day is, okay? But let me just say this, okay, guys? There are two sets of rules, um, and they apply for different men. And a lot of you already know what I'm going to say here, okay? But women have two different sets of rules for men who are attractive and men who they don't find attractive, okay? The men who they don't find attractive, they will screw you around. They will waste your time. They will never message you first. They will be incredibly vague. You know, all of these sorts of things, okay? Um, but if the man's attractive, please believe, guys, that even these women, the most staunch of womanist, the most staunch, strong, independent lady, quote-unquote, she'll be messaging first. She will be asking him questions. She will be making time for him, okay? Because, you know, so many of these women, if you ask them, they've done this before, and they will continue to do it. If the man is attractive enough, guys, the women put in all the damn effort. And I don't even say that as a joke. You can ask a lot of these women and they will tell you, oh, back in my 20s, yeah, I used to put men on a pedestal and like all of this kind of crap, right? And they still do for the attractive ones. But let's jump into this next one here. I haven't seen this clip. Um, this is a, what is this? A single mother who is dating in her 30s. I don't know who the hell is handing these women TikTok. I'll be honest with you. Like, wh why these people have this installed on their phone? Let's jump in. I've had one serious relationship that ended. And since then, I've gone on several dates that really could all be described as a series of unfortunate events. And the thing that just blows my mind the most is these men, they do some fun stuff. They always say, hey, what do you do for fun? What do you do for fun? What do you do for fun? That's literally the number one question I get asked. What do you do for fun? Well, I'm a mom, okay? I have an eight-year-old and a five-year-old, two girls. My Damn, can't wait to date that. I'm so excited, right? And here she is getting offended about this question. She's getting borderline offended because some dudes are asking her, you know, what she does for fun. Well, first of all, I'm a single mother and I have kids who are this age and th nobody asked you this woman, okay? The dude was just asking what you do for fun. We don't need to hear your life story. Hell, these men who are matching with you on these dating applications, they don't want to hear your life story either. My idea of fun is taking a bath by myself. Also finishing the Diet Coke that I opened without somebody's sticky fingers getting on it and their backwash getting in it. Making TikToks because that's the only moment of quiet that I might get. So that's what I do for fun. And I'm sorry that I cannot keep up with your need to go hiking and all these. Right. So, man, this woman's definition of fun, what she does for fun is she makes TikTok videos about dating as a single mother in your 30s. Now, what did she say her kids were? Five and eight or something like this. Holy hell, what is this? Excuse me, guys. This is the next clip we're going to be covering. Um, don't really know what's going on here. But the previous woman said that she had a kid who was like five and eight. Uh, can you like imagine for a second, right? You're a kid, you're growing up, and then in school, some other kids find out that your mom's hobby is posting TikToks. Man, you are going to get so roasted for that. You are going to get so roasted for that. But let's jump into this next clip here. I don't know what this one is going to be. 
Let's take a listen. I believe this is also a, uh, a single mother. I think all of these women are single mothers. But as a single person, like, I don't mind being single, but I don't really want to be alone. Like, I'm kind of tired of being lonely, but I don't know if I'm tired of being lonely enough that I want to, like, share my life with somebody. Like, I want to hang out, but I want to go home and sleep in my bed. I don't want to watch what you want to watch. I don't want to talk on the phone or like text and check in with you. But I kind of want somebody to be worried about my day and how I'm doing. And it would be cool to go to dinner sometimes. But I just want to go home. I'm so used to solving my own problems. Like I don't know how to have somebody help me solve my problems. Or do I want you to solve my problems? I don't know. But I wouldn't mind if you like fix things around my house or mow my grass. But I don't want you to like stay with me. I don't. Want right. So this woman looks terrifying. Let me let me just say that. Um. So she, she is single. She is living the single life. She is supposedly out here. I have to change the screen. I'm scaring myself. Um, she's having a great time living her single life. She doesn't need no man. She's strong and independent. But at the same time, she wants a relationship because she feels lonely. Um, and she needs people. She needs someone to fix the things that are around her house and take her out on dates. So she needs a handyman and she needs somebody who's going to give her food, but she doesn't actually care about the other person. She wants the other person to care about her day and she wants the other person to do things for her, but she doesn't want to have to do anything or care about the other person. And they, you know, they wonder why men don't want to have relationships with them. They wonder why, bit of a jump scare again. They wonder why um, relationships, modern day relationships are completely and, and utterly failing is because you have people like this who their entire world, guys, see, this is the type of individual who could have children and still not care about the children, like still put themselves before their children, put themselves before their family, before their husband. Um, and, and it just goes completely south, right? Because these people, they want relationships, but they don't understand and I hate to get all esoteric here and, uh, you know, talk a little bit of nonsense, but life isn't just about yourself. It's about giving to other people as well. Okay. Now I'm not your father. I'm just some barely animated vampire on the internet guys. But I think we can all understand that just being a complete narcissist is probably not the best route in life. Um, especially if you want to have a life partner, but Hey, I will say this though, guys, it's really funny because these women are complete narcissists and they complain about men all the time. You know, men are this, men are that. But so many of them are, ironically enough, attracted to narcissistic qualities as well. Very, very interesting how this whole circle works, but let's keep going. I don't want to have expectations out of anybody and I don't want anybody to have expectations out of me. But I'm kind of lonely. I wonder if this means I'll just be alone forever. I think that there's a fine line between like being single too long. I think I'm creeping up on that. Like part of me wants to let somebody in. I've done the work. I feel ready. Let them into what? I'm disgusted, man. So this, this woman's like, yeah, I might have been single for too long. You're ki <laughs> yes, you, you have been single like a probably a couple of decades at this point too long. I don't know if this woman's like 40. Okay. But um, she's like, yeah, I think I've been single a little bit too long. I should probably find my Prince Charming. Your Prince Charming was like 15 years ago, woman. What are you sitting here talking about? Yeah, maybe I need to get into a relationship now. I've done the work and I need to accept help from men. Oh, how very modest of you. What is this? I'm 30 plus years of age. I'm 40 plus years of age. I don't know how old this woman is. She could be in her 40s for all I know with these damn filters and such. But the, the arrogance that these women have to say to get to 40, develop all these characteristics that men have no interest in, want just a handyman and someone to use, and then they're like, yeah, maybe I'll let a, let a man in, right? I'll let a man into my life now that I'm ready. I've done the healing. Hopefully I don't get banned for saying this, guys, but this woman looks like Dr. Eggman, okay? Like, what are you, what are you even saying? Like, it's, it's such a narcissistic thing to think that you have leverage over men and men should be privileged to enter into your life and fix crap for you, you know, and, and pay for meals for you. Insane. I feel ready, but then I'm like, my peace is so valuable. 
I don't want to do the gray area. I don't want to wonder where you've been, where you're going, who you're talking to, when you're going to text me, when I'm going to see you again. I don't want to get excited and be let down. I consider myself to be emotionally available. I'm secure with who I am, all the things. I'm in therapy. I've done the work. I'm happy with who I am and where I am. And I just don't know if I have the capacity to have somebody come in and... But it would kind of be nice. I'm sure there's a word for this, like anxiously avoidant or something like that. I'm just wondering if like I'll always be like this. Like, have I been single for so long that I'm just content with being this way? Or is the right person just going to come along and all of my reservations are just going to go out of the window? I don't know. Life is hard. Okay, bye. Life is hard. Okay, bye. You know, this is the advice um, that I always give to, to women like this. Okay, I personally believe that this woman's Prince Charming is just around the corner. I think that she should remain single. She should continue to do her healing work. She, could, she should uh, continue to stay in therapy. And, you know, maybe when she's 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, um, you know, maybe then she'll kind of find her husband. She'll find her, her Prince Charming. But in the meantime, guys, it sounds like she's thriving, right? She's strong. She's independent. She's done the healing work. She doesn't really want to partner. You know, she doesn't want to have someone rely on her. Um, so I think she's got all the time in the world, to be honest with you. But guys, oh, and you know, before I wrap up today's episode, I believe this woman is also a single mother as well. Let's just, let me just throw that in there. Okay. This is also a single mother. But guys, we're going to be leaving it there. As always, remember to leave your thoughts and your comments. Make sure that you take care of yourselves, and I'll be seeing you all in the next episode. Peace.